The tutorial option sequence for the adult permanent dentition can be difficult to remember. Here we will be going over what is known as the Tetris method, which will allow you to recall the order of the eruption sequence very easily. First, let's go over the FDI numbering system so that we're on the same page. A normal adult can have up to 32 teeth in total, 16 on the maxilla and 16 on the mandible. If we divide our teeth into four sections or quadrants, we will have eight teeth in each quadrant, each of them displaying a unique morphology as well as eruption time. The one corresponds with the central incisor, two with the lateral incisor, three with the canine, four and five with the first and second premolars, and finally six, seven, and eight, the first, second, and third molars respectively. The first step to the Tetris method is writing down some numbers in a specific order for both our maxillary and mandibular teeth. First, start by writing down 6 for both the maxilla and the mandible. Next, let's write down the numbers for the mandible first because it is the easier of the two. All we're going to do is count up from 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll skip the 6 since we already have it in the front, so go ahead and jump to 7 and then 8. Easy as that. For the maxilla, we're going to make just one adjustment. Count up again from 1 to 2, and then we'll skip the 3 and go straight to 4, 5, and then we'll put the 3 here and finish it off by writing down the remaining 7 and 8. As you can see, the only difference was instead of writing down the 3 after the 2, we just moved the 3 so that it's after the 5. Everything else is identical as the mandibular number sequencing. Alright, we're halfway there. Now that we have our numbers, let's lay down our Tetris blocks. First up is the L-shaped block. Next we're going to have this long thin block that's kind of been skewed to the left side onto the 1 and the 2. Then we're going to put a small square around the 2 and the 3, like so. Then we'll bring down an upside down L block and another upright L block right after that. We'll put a square around the 7 and finish it off with a long thin block around the 8s. These are the Tetris blocks that will help us to remember the eruption ages. Our first block is going to correspond to the age of 6. And from here on, we're successively going to add one more year as we go from left to right. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the last one will correspond to 17. Now, let's adjust for the fact that these ages are usually in a range. We got our base ages down, now let's just add one more year to these numbers, and that'll give us our range. The only exception will be the age of 17. This is going to be a little wider range from 17 to 21. The last and final adjustment we have to make is to account for the fact that the upper 5 and lower 4 have a slightly wider range at 10 to 12 years old. And the lower 7 also has a slightly wider range at 11 to 13 instead of the 11 to 12. Okay, to summarize, here's a little visual aid for our eruption sequence. Keeping in mind that normally kids, they will have their primary teeth in, and they won't be completely without teeth like it is shown here. This is just for the sake of illustrating the order at which our permanent adult dentition come in. From 6 to 7, our upper and lower first molars are the first to come in, along with the lower central incisors. From 7 to 8, the upper centrals will come in, as well as the lower lateral incisors. From 8 to 9, the upper laterals will come in, completing the incisors. From 9 to 10, our lower canines will pop out, but the upper canines won't show up until 11 to 12. From 10 to 11, the upper first premolars will come in first, and from 10 to 12, the upper second premolars will follow, as well as the first lower premolar. And then from 11 to 12, the upper canines will finally come in, and so does the lower second premolar to finish the eruption of all the premolars and the canines. At this point, we just have the molars left now. From 11 to 13, we will get our first second molar that is the lower second molar, and then from 12 to 13, the upper second molars will follow. 
And finally, and optionally, depending on your genetic lottery, from 17 to 21, you may see the eruption of your wisdom teeth. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more dental educational videos in the future.